Welcome to the last video in the Minion series. I'll be going through each script as I've made quite a few changes and optimization to the code. As you can see, this is the end product. It's the exact same as the last videos with small minor changes and it's better for performance. If you guys want the project, you can go ahead to my Patreon and get it there alongside the two MOBA series project files. I'd like to first thank all my Patreon supporters, whether you've joined for free or pledged. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. In the main scene, for testing purposes and being able to tell the difference, I made the enemy stats have higher health and less damage while keeping the ally minions to lower health but higher damage. I've also made the towers and minions spawner close to each other so that I don't have to wait an extra 10 seconds for them to meet. Now that's out of the way, let's look into his scripts. The major change is the introduction of object pulling system. This system optimizes performance by reusing game objects instead of continuously creating and destroying them. Each type of minion, melee, ranged, and the super minion now has its own object pool, which will be initialized at the start method. The spawn minion's coroutine has also been simplified, using the spawn minion method to handle minion spawning from the respective pools. This change makes the script more efficient and scalable, especially in games where managing a large number of game objects is crucial. The main changes revolved around improved efficiency and control over the minion's behavior. Firstly, the find and set target method is now called by using invoke repeating, replacing the manual time tracking used in the old script. This makes the logic for switching targets easier. Additionally, the new script introduces rotation speed value, which enhances the minion's rotation towards the target for a smoother and more controlled movement. The start combat and stop combat method also provide a better control for the minion's combat state, allowing it to stop and focus on combat when necessary. The most notable change is the optimization and streamlining of the attack logic. The new script replaces the separate checks for enemy and ally minions with a single check for any target with objective stats. Additionally, the can attack method has been replaced with is in attack range, focusing solely on distance checking. With this change, along with integrating the start combat and stop combat, makes it more efficient and easier to understand. These changes also apply to the range combat script. You can go ahead and pause the video to have a closer look. Compared to the old chart script, which used separate methods to find enemy and ally targets based on the targets tag, the new script determines the target tag in the start method, using a single method called find closest target in range for both ally and enemy targets. This method uses physics.overlap sphere to find the closest target within the range, which replaces the more manual approach in the old script. Additionally, the is target in range method provides a cleaner way to check if the current target is still in range. One change I made was to simplify the take damage method. The old script had multiple checks for different tags like ally minion and ally turret, as well as enemy turret and enemy minion. The new script quickens this process by removing the specific tag checks and instead it uses a single condition check to check if the target's health is below zero, regardless of its tag, will destroy the target if the condition is met. This script makes it easier to maintain as it reduces the destruction logic for different types of game objects. The primary change is switching from using on collision enter to on trigger enter. This change implies that the projectile or its target are now using trigger colliders instead of regular colliders, which can be more efficient for certain types of interactions in Unity. Additionally, the updated script removes the projectile in hit target as it's already being destroyed after applying damage. The main change is the removal of specific tag checks in the damage turret method. The old script checked for tags like enemy minion or enemy turret to determine if the target should take damage. The new script directly calls the take damage on the target's objective stats component. This applies more flexibility as it can now work around any target that has objective stats component, regardless of its tag. Additionally, the movement logic towards the target in the update method has also been refactored into a separate move towards target method in the new script. That is all for this video. I really hope you guys find this small series helpful. It was a different style on how I usually do videos, but in a way I think it's better since a lot more people prefer seeing the product first and me talking about it instead of watching me typing code for the entire video. I'll make a video updating on future content I plan on putting out, so stay tuned for that. If you do want the project, you can get it by subscribing to my Patreon down below along with the rest of the MOBA project files. If you have any questions or suggestions or just want to join my community, my Discord will also be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.